Hello everyone, so before we jump into today's video, I would like to thank Google for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Now let's get into a day in my life in Australia. <laughs> of today's video. All right, we're gonna be doing a slight intermission here, but it's to talk about something very near and dear to my heart and something I would love to share with you guys. I wanna talk about Google and their sustainable efforts towards their products and tools and how we can use them on a day-to-day -day basis. For me, I travel a lot and Google is my number one tool that I use when it comes to really any aspect to my traveling. And so to know that Google is making sustainable efforts to help all of us that use their services, I think is really special. Now you may be wondering, Ellie, what does this mean? What are they doing exactly? Well, let me tell you. They have many different things they've added to their different services, such as eco-friendly routes, which basically on maps will now show you the more eco-friendly routes hence the name. They also have bike sharing, so you're basically able to find the nearest bikes, which I think is really, really neat. The two that I have been using the most recently is Google Flights and Google Hotel Search. Using Google Flights, I am able to now see the different carbon emissions and the information to not only a specific flight, but to that specific seat. So I'm really able to kind of pick and choose and learn more about it. And on Google Hotel Search, it's now basically highlighting hotels that are doing real and meaningful sustainable efforts and practices within their own hotel and business and it will basically give you the information from anything like their waste reduction to their water conservation whatever it is and i think that's also amazing i know i've been able to find some really sustainable hotels and ones that are really making an effort google cares about sustainability and they are trying to do their part in helping fight climate change Google has been entirely carbon neutral in operations since 2007, which basically means that they are offsetting all emissions that come from their campuses. And by 2030, which is crazy, Google hopes to be entirely carbon free, which basically means for every email you send, for every YouTube video you watch, for every time you use Google Maps, it will be entirely clean energy, which I think is so neat, especially for such a big company and one that so many of us use. I will have more information for you and the different ways that they are making being sustainable and more eco-friendly very accessible to us. So I will have more information for you guys down below. A huge thank you to Google for sponsoring Answering that portion of the video, but now back to regular programming on our day in the life in Australia. Let's do it. <laughs> and go on a little walk on the coolest trail and the coolest hot girl walk I've done to date. I don't know why it's literally freezing this morning, but we're walking to go get some coffee and go on a walk on the water. It's the most beautiful hot girl walk location I've seen to date, and it's gonna be amazing. Let's do it. two days i'm still extremely jet lagged and feel like i'm in a constant fever dream it is so steep here i have the worst shin splints right now and i've not had these in the longest time because my body's so trained to do really aggressive walking but everything is just like stairs and hills and i'm winded and we still got a lot of stairs to go but we have to race back because i have a spray tan to get to so let's climb these damn stairs <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello everyone, I just called an Uber. We're gonna go ahead and get the world's quickest spray tan and then actually get the day started. It's at 10 o'clock and I'm getting it because it's fashion week and I wanna look good. <laughs> and I just feel really, really especially pale right now. So we're gonna get a little color. Let's get our tan on. <laughs> spray tan with a net on. It's like when you're at the hair salon and you have your hair wet and you're just sitting there. It's a very humbling experience. Hello everyone. Okay, this tan hit is exactly what I needed. I was just feeling so pale. I'm trying to also embrace my natural hair a lot more and I know I'm gonna be putting a lot of heat on it next week for fashion week. So I'm just gonna try and let it be natural today, which is a big step for me because I've always been weird about my hair, especially after dyeing it. I don't know. But anyways, this tan is absolutely hitting. So thank God for that. This is also my third freaking coffee of the morning. It's literally 10.45. I don't know, it's just hard. The coffee here is really good and I'm also still trying to adjust. I've only been here for two and a half days so my body's still really confused with the time difference. So I'm trying to justify spending all this money on coffee. <laughs> I'm trying to just force myself to get right into like the time change ish thing. So now I have this. Their coffee's also really strong. This Starbucks one is like really intense. I don't know how much I can actually stomach of this. But anyways, I don't even think I explained what I'm doing. I mean, obviously it's something crazy. A little day in my life here in Sydney, Australia. I'm here for some work right now and I'm staying with my really good friend, Elizabeth. She just left, but you guys will see her later and in my other Australia vlog. I don't know which one's going up first. We have this cute little Airbnb for a couple weeks and it is a Sunday. We're both doing a lot of fashion week stuff this week and so I thought it'd be fun to just prep with you guys. I need to go grocery shopping. I've yet to do that yet since being here. I heard there's like a cute little market on Sundays and I'll take you guys along and then I think Elizabeth and I and then a couple other friends are gonna go do a sunset picnic with whatever we find the market later. So that is the plan and all there is to it. All right, we are headed out to go meet my friends at the market and see what we can find for the picnic tonight. And I throw in this little pink blazer right feel really official. I also love this tan. God, I wish I was always tan. Okay, let's, let's go. Three, two, one. <laughs> arguing again, arguing about something so simple. Make it clear, tell me why you're running back to him. Feeling insecure, feeling like there's more to your character. Every tear that you cry is worth it in the end. But baby, tell me, how have you not figured it out? Ooh, try your eyes. The world can always give I understand you're stronger than you know There's power in your bones The flowers that you've grown Were water by your tears You say from the market. I popped off and got so much for literally no good reason other than I got excited and I wanted to support some Australian based companies to the market. It was just really cool clothes and jewelry and really yummy food. Let me grab my bag. We'll do a little haul that I got. Have I gone grocery shopping yet? No, I'm going to attempt that next. Anyways, so on like the Bondi street, I wanted to get my brother a little something for his birthday. I got him just a really cool surf club Bondi beach sweatshirt. So hopefully he will like that. And then, oh my gosh, there was this really, really cool stand at the market and it's ANC by Carol. She makes these like crochet tops like fully herself and look how beautiful this is. I found this one that it's like beautiful and it has these little arm sleeves on it. I just feel like that is just so my style. I'm so excited. I feel like this could be really cute with just some like white pants that I always wear, honestly. So I'm very, very excited about that and it would be perfect for this summer. The first little stand we went to, I got very overwhelmed because there were so many cute clothes, but it's called Lost Lorelei. I'm probably saying that wrong, I'm sorry. I'm very out of it right now because it's midnight my body time, so. It's like really cute. It's like these reversible, almost like tube tops, but it can also be a skirt. 
so I just bought two because I thought one could be a cute little skirt moment and then the other one is like a top and on like the model they had it rolled up. I just think it's so me and it's perfect for the summer. Just throw on super lightweight. I also got two pieces of jewelry here from AHHA Jewelry. I got these two rings right here. I thought they're so beautiful. And then we walked over to this place. It's called Scoop Whole Foods and it basically had all these like literally every kind of like chocolate covered something you could think of, dried fruit, every kind of almond butter, nut butter. You could literally make cashew butter yourself by like turning it. And so I picked up some like really random goodies, but they just looked so good. So I got these like chickpea little like, they look like Cheerios. They taste like a chip and they're delicious. And then I also got some vegan white chocolate. I ate way too many of these in the walk home after seafood. So I feel like I could literally yak right now. So I can't eat any more right now. And then I also got, these were weirdly so good. It's like these matcha covered dried strawberries. Sounds like a mouthful it is, but they're delicious. And then last but not least, my little kombucha that I fully did myself. I mean, there wasn't much to it besides just pulling the lever down, but it was a really fun experience to pour it myself. It's literally the best kombucha ever. I got like the green one and then this cute little bag. So I really did the most, but I'm very happy to support. It was beautiful weather today. I definitely needed to be in the sun, hang out with some good friends. Very successful. But now I think we're gonna meet over for a sunset picnic in a little bit. So I wanna run to the grocery, get a couple things. And then I said that I would bring some sort of like yummy chip. Everyone's gonna bring something different. Throw on a cute dress and head out. So let's go do that. Also the spray tan is really setting in and I love it. All right, let's go. In typical Ellie fashion, it seems I have left the key to my place, inside of my place. I was already feeling a little flustered, a little tired. Anyways, I left my key. I was grocery shopping and I looked in the bag and I was like, oh, this ain't good. And Elizabeth, who I'm rooming with, isn't gonna be back till later. So I'm like, okay. I just texted some other girls to see if I can go hang with them before a little picnic. But I'm sad, because now I can't change and do a whole little thing like we were gonna do. But it's fine, that's the worst thing that happened. I actually had a really good day in the farmer's market and the sun put me in a really good mood. I'm just like, why do I fluster myself so much? These things always tend to happen to me, but especially recently, I'm like, damn it, I just need to like slow down and take a minute and not do the most, always doing far too much. <laughs> Hannah's line recently and I think I'm starting to follow in that. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm currently just sitting outside of my place. I can literally see my balcony. We'll see when I come up with a solution. I also have no service. So I'm like fully don't know what to do in a country alone. <laughs> Anyways, I'll let you know what happens. <laughs> What did I order? What, what did I what did I grab? Guys, I was literally not doing well. Be true. Speculating a long time waiting to hear a word back from you. Conversation. Hello everyone. I am back from the picnic and as you can see, energy is low for no other reason than the jet lag. It's like 4 a.m. my body, 5 a.m. my body time. I'm just getting ready because fashion week starts tomorrow. I have three shows and hair and makeup's coming at six. So I'm gonna hit it early. I was just laying out all of my bags, shoes, my outfits, so that way I'm nice and prepared for my quick little changes. Stay tuned for the next video for all of that. I'm literally falling asleep right now. Okay, thank you for spending the day with me. I love you guys. I'm so grateful to be here and take you along and I've had so much fun. I'll see you guys very soon. She's Good night. Everyone's lining up to see you.